everybody. Welcome to Mrs. Elefante's virtual classroom, where science learning is fun. Hi, everybody. This is Ivy Elefante again of Science Simply Explained. Welcome back to our channel. This is a new channel, so please support this so I can support more students better. For this video, we are going to show how to do this comparing carbon loads lab, and it is the lab for our earth science students. A lot of students requested because number one they don't have dyes and number two they said that the procedures are really confusing for them so this video will just be a guide for you definitely it is recommended that you do this on your own so that you will have a first hand experience on how to complete this carbon loads lab especially um, graphing and answering the questions so like i said this is just a guide so for those who say that you don't have dyes, there is a solution for you. You can go online and type Rolla Dice. It's an online random dice player and you can definitely use it to um, use as dice. So what you will do is just simply click on this page and then it will roll it for you. Okay, and then here is our instruction on how to do this. So I'm just going to go directly to this role or go to table. There are two parts, one for the pre-industrial revolution and for today. So the way it works is you are going to start uh, here in air and then you are going to roll the dice. And if the number says one to two, you're going to stay in air. And then three to four, you're going to move to ocean. And then five to six, you're going to move to plants. And then one cycle is when you go back to air. That is one complete cycle. And then if you go back to air, you are going to tell it to the next cycle. So for example, so we're going to start here air. And then I'm going to roll the dice here. And it says five. So I'm going to plant. So since we started in air, we're going to tell it as one. Okay. And then... We are going to, it says five here, and then we're going to go to plants. So you are going to tally plants. One. All right, so from plants, you are going to roll it again, and it says five, and it says five is soil stores. So you are going to go to soil stores and tally that one. And then says six so from soil here it says six it says we have to go back to go to fossil fuels and so we will tally fossil fuels all right and then so from fossil fuels we're gonna roll this dice and it says six so if it says six it is air so that means we went back to air and this will be our first tally for the second cycle so we just completed one cycle if the dice says go back to air and that will be complete your first cycle and then that tally will be for second cycle air okay let's do it one more time we're still in the pre-industrial revolution so it says three so we started air three it's um, ocean so we're gonna put one here for ocean for our second cycle and then we have one so it says we are going to stay so that means we will put two tally marks for ocean and then next four that means air so we went back to air that means we finished our cycle so there is your second cycle so i'm just going i mean third cycle so I'm just, yeah that's how you do it until you finish everything right here so for one complete cycle there are five sets here and then i mean there are three sets so you're gonna do three sets of cycle until you finish everything and then you are going to total it like how many airs do you have here how many plants for your tally marks and like that so just for example we get here five this is just an example so we say five we get six here we get three we get two we get three and we get four here just an example right so you're going to do the same thing for today all right so we are going to graph 
our results. So here it says your y-axis should be the number of tally marks and your x-axis are the different carbon loads. So, right, so here will be your number of tally marks. And then here will be your carbon loads. So for example, this one will be air. And then you can do plants, animals, soil, and then we have ocean. And then here will be your numbers. Say this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's stop at seven. So here we have five, six, three, two, three, and four. So we're just gonna follow that number according to this order. So we have here, so we're just gonna graph this. So we have air is five, like that. And it's really hard to write with a mouse, so you can do that. And then plants is six. I have here animals three. Okay, <laughs> so of course you can, like I said, you can do better. Um, two for soil. And then fossil fuels, three. Like that. And then ocean is four. Like that. All right. So, and then after doing that, you are going to do the same way for today. And then you are going to answer this questions. So that is how you complete this carbon lab. And um, this video tutorial is just quick and easy. And I'm very sure that you will be able to complete this without a doubt. <laughs> okay, so there you have it. Thank you so much and have a nice day. Bye-bye.